Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3. It is the evening of the 16th, and today we're gonna go into Tartarus. Now I learned from last time that I should A, fight these things off screen so I know what I'm in for, and B, don't trust what the guide says, because the guide actually does not give an amount of information that would be exceptionally useful. Uh, for one, it does not give a complete list of resistances and weaknesses on stats, and it does not give it in a clear way. So I often have to read the flavor text paragraph below and glean what I can off that, and it will often refer to something that an that a boss is neutral to as being weak to it. It also does not give a complete skill list, so I don't know what all abilities the boss can even use in the first place. It gives a strategy that works for... worked for them, but me not knowing everything that I can know about the boss, I... if that strategy doesn't work for me, then I'm just kind of boned. So I've learned, instead of trusting the guide, I'll read the guide, and then I'll look at the wiki and actually look at the thing's legit stats and ability lists. So today, I'm going to change off my giant dragon and change instead to High Pixie, because for this fight, you're going to want something that can use ice spells, and you're going to want something that is not weak to fire or electric. Now, technically, you really want something that resists or nulls fire or electric, because even if you're neutral, you'll still get pretty darn wrecked by these things. But good luck finding something that is strong or null both fire and electric, and can use ice. I think the closest thing is probably Black Frost, and we couldn't get that right now if we wanted to. So we're gonna go with High Pixie. Now, of the party members, I'm going to go with Akihiko. Is he resists electric? I'm going to go with Mitsuru. Because even though she is weak to fire, she uses ice, and someone else that can hit this dude with ice is good news. And I'm going to bring Junpei because he resists fire. This boss is strong to physical, so you, he will take very little physical damage. He will completely null fire and electric. He is neutral to wind and weak to ice. Legit weak to ice, and I'm going to be abusing the crap out of that. They can also cast Agidine and Zeodine. So that's going to be a lot of bad news, and he is this way. They also have a couple other abilities, but everything else they have isn't as important. They have... This is no ordinary enemy. Don't let your guard down. They have Mind Charge, which means their next attack, which will already almost one-shot you, will most certainly one-shot you. They have Maracunda, which will lower your defense, which means their attack that would normally one-shot you will most certainly one-shot you. And they have Eerie Sound, which will put the Distressed Ailment on you. And to be honest, I forget what that even does. So I'm going to scan one of them. Now let's see here. I'm going... Where am I? Oh, I'm next. So, I'm going, followed by Mitsuru, which means I can knock him down. At following Mitsuru is 3 and 4, then 5, 6, and 7. So, we're actually going to want... Yeah, we're actually going to want Junpei and Akihiko. This is the standard, like, I'm abusing the crap out of knockdown strategy. I'm going to want Akihiko on... Why not? And I'll set Junpei on Knockdown 2. I'll set Mitsuru on Knockdown 2. Hey, you know what? That works. And then I will, um... Bufula, because I think it has better accuracy than the Bufula. 
just kind of pray I don't miss. If you do miss, at least in the practice run, it wasn't the end of the world. The enemy is down. Now's your chance. Keep it up. And you see, that does almost no damage. But this, on the other hand... ...does a nice chunk of damage. What?! Oh, you don't know they're weak to ice yet. Still alive. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That hurt a little. That wasn't so bad. Okay, now you know they're what they're weak to. So let's try this again. I also have Thaw. You can use an Almighty. And I'm curious just how much damage it would do. I'm curious how it compares to the All Out. Because I did notice that it will do more damage, even though it hits everyone, it will do more damage than a single target with a weakness. Not too much more, though. But that does tell me, like, even if this is doing, like, 34, it would probably only do, like, 50. I'm curious, though. And you know what? If you can hit all three of them, we can just, like, fall out them and be done with this. Amazing as always. Akihiko. Crushing on Mitsuru. The enemy's down. Let's finish this. You'll fall by my hand. And you know what? It it is really, really nice having one of those bosses that wasn't a terror and a horrible and gave me a very, very bad day. That was nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back down and say. Eh, you know, long as I'm in here. Okay, I got that one, which is on the 17th, which is tomorrow. The oil one is a bit later. And then there are these three, which I will go ahead and grab. Wait, 126. I'll probably be getting to 126. And then these guys are apparently just everywhere. Wish I could accept more than one quest at a time. More than three quests at a time, whatever. Ah! Wanna change the music? I've decided what the background music for this block is. As far as I'm concerned, the background music has officially changed. Up your suitcase. As far as I'm concerned, the background music has officially changed. And in, th in this block... Track one plays. Man, it just feels so much more like we're actually climbing up the tower and like we're getting closer to the... to serious town. The music's alright, so... Just gonna kinda hope that the exit's not that way. Looks like I'm gonna have to pass by Shadow one way or the other. I saw you crawling by that way. I'm curious what is in the other directions. Cannot tell what's in that room. It is a square room. Maybe. Can't see further than that. That is a fake stairs room. That is the exit. Stairs, whatever. You know what I'm talking about.
That's all right. That is the way things have always been. I wasn't expecting you to magically be able to see to the very top of the tower. Hey, you're over there. And that is the stairs. Now, if I have to grind, grinding here isn't bad. I'm... I might as well fight you. I'm just gonna have to ask you to turn around. You'll notice I'm using a two-handed sword. That's because I found a two-handed sword in a chest. It was fancy, and I said, you know what, I feel like using this. It's a little bit harder to get into fights because there's a bigger uh, wind-up. Oh, I remember you guys. You guys are weak to electric and wind. Who's my new wind user? Is it you? Yes, it is. Right now, my solution to everything is Magarula. Still alive. Obey my command. Or whatever. There we go. Nice going, Junpei. Ah, uh, that guy's already down, but... But it is Magaru. Some nice weapons you're using there, Akihiko. I picked up some nice weapons while I was grinding. I'm gonna have to check. <laughs> My skills have improved. How about you? Yeah, I got some real nice stuff for you here. Let's give you some of them. I'm gonna give you the Amigo Poncho. I'm gonna give you everything. Do I have anything for me? Like, I know I picked this up. The Robe of Warding. Jet boots. Because I, like, geared myself up super well before the last uh, full moon. They do change their own equipment from time to time. So that's kind of nice. That is nice. I'm gonna go with that. 